What I thought we'd do uh, today, or our demonstration I'm going to provide today, is to take a look at how we create a scale so that we can use that scale then to analyze uh, in the future with both uh, t-tests and ANOVAs uh, using SPSS. Uh, the nice thing about a scale is it'll actually produce what we need, which is a dependent variable that is interval ratio. Uh, you could do it with the separate components of the scale, but it, as we'll see in a minute, there, it's a little less uh, less resembling of, or, or doesn't resemble a uh, a uh, interval ratio variable as much as if we were to create a scale. Creating a scale is really a one-step process. Uh, you must first click on transform, and then you're going to compute a variable. Now, what we're going to compute today is a variable uh, called the abortion scale, uh, which we'll just call ab scale. And I always like to label them. Uh, and this would be our abortion opinion, opinion scale. And now our abortion opinion scale is going to be comp comprised of two variables added together, uh, which would be ab any. And if you're really curious what ab any is, just click, right click on it or use the alternate mouse button. And it's abortion if a woman wants it for any reason. Uh, yes, no. So we'll put that in. And then uh, it'll be another scale, abortion. Uh, if you have uh, pregnancy because of rape, yes and no. And you want to add those together. So let me get rid of the second second variable. I'm a little fast here. So that'd be ab any plus ab rape. You click on OK, and it'll actually create the scale for you uh, in a in a minute or so. It takes a little while to uh, to crank through all that, particularly if I'm trying to record. We can see when it's done there should be an abscale variable at the end here, and indeed there is. Abscale. Now I always change this to uh, not have any decimal places. Uh, one of the things that we can do is to see how things worked out is take a look at our descriptives by uh, looking at our frequencies, and we're going to look at ab any, ab rape, and then our abscale variable. And we'll see how they're different uh, one of the things we can, of course, do is take a look at the uh, mean and the standard deviation. Click on Continue. Click on OK. And what we're provided with then when our output comes up is uh, here's our output, which you're traditionally used to seeing. Uh, it's going to take a couple seconds. Uh, and our abortion opinion scale you'll see that uh, 276 people said yes to both. And what we end up with, instead of just having 1 and 2 as variables, is we end up with a 2, a 3, and a 4. Uh, if they said, uh, typically if they say yes on one, they'll say yes on both. But you'll see that here you have a scale now that has a certain number of people saying 2, 3, or 4. Uh, a 2 would be a 1 and a 1. Uh, and, and we could take a look at what that what that scale actually means. Uh, 